Hi everyone, it's Shannon from Shabby Shenanigans. Thank you so much for joining me on this commentary flip through of something about Mary. Uh, I made this for a former coworker, uh, a fascinating, fascinating woman. Um, and I learned a lot of things from her. We had some great talks and so I'm hoping that this book kind of incorporates all that is her and um, all the things that that I appreciated um, of our time together. So um, she loves cats, obviously, and uh, among many things, um, some of which are plants and trees, uh, Cape Cod, um, and uh, Fortunately, her husband passed away a couple years ago, and uh, so there's a little guardian angel charm here for her. Um, this is my first commentary video ever, so I apologize if I'm a little rambling or whatnot, but we all got to have our first, right? Um, I would also like to really give a big, big thank you to all of my subscribers. I just started my channel about three months ago, and I'm already almost up to 200 subscribers. So you guys are the best. And uh, please let me know in the comments if there's any types of videos you'd like to see. I do plan to do tons more journals and uh, maybe some craft slash learn with me videos in the future. So, but let's get started on this. Um, the front is really just uh, inspired by a kitten tag from the graphics fairy that I really loved. And it had a old cat with a crown. Um, I embellished her with some uh, lace and fabric little skirt here that I thought was really cute and uh, just you know layered some doilies and and some some other types of fabric In the begin there's a it's a craft envelope sorry craft four craft envelopes the cover is made of with um, really extra pockets and such. Here is some scrapbook paper and wallpaper that I fussy cut and glued on. Uh, we like to talk a lot about, I mean we worked for a pest control company so we talked a lot about bugs and such but uh, she loved flowers, plants, everything to do with nature pretty much. Um, I thought this was a great page from a book on gardening, a bugs, bug book for gardeners, and it has this tomato hornworm in it, which we just um, both were completely disgusted about, but uh, they are common. And then also here in the northeast of the United States, gypsy moths are um, quite prevalent and can really wreak havoc on, on your trees, which we would talk about sometimes. She did a lot of bookkeeping among many things. Um, I was amazed at the amount of knowledge and skills and just experiences that Mary had had through her years. So I don't mean to speak about her in the past tense. She is still alive, and of course, and um, I just don't get to see her much now. Um, she is uh, in my past job she was is uh, the controller for the company so I thought this book page was very fitting um, and also there's a pocket up here she was also an editor for Cooks Illustrated among many other things and uh, so this is a proofreading page from a lesson book or I guess editing, more of an editing page. 
She also uh, knits and crochets, and at one point she uh, so she does sew as well. And at one point she sewed uh, baptismal gowns for uh, for babies. So I thought that was a really great piece to include uh, from a vintage crochet and tatting book. Um, we both kind of love alpacas, so I thought this um, image of an alpaca was really cute. And I surrounded it with some sari silk ribbon that's very um, alpaca-like. Just a page from a Sarah Mita, I think. Mita, Mita, book called In and Out of the Garden. Has a lot of kind of Edith Holden-esque type uh, drawings and writings, um, but not quite as vintage as Edith, Edith Holden, but Holden, but still very, very precious. So I included one of those. And then of course, through the book, there's lots of cat pictures. She has a granddaughter who has two cats. She herself has two caps. Uh, she was a teacher for some time, and I thought this um, Tim Holtz page with a reference to St. Mary's High School was quite fitting. She liked to talk about how smart crows are, and when I found this, uh, this book page on crows and how they are the smartest of our native birds. I just thought it was so cool. So I included that and a vintage cat photo. Wicked cute. Pardon my Boston lingo. Uh, she loved um, the titmouse bird. So I thought this, um, this is from a Gilbert and Sullivan book, um, which had this really great reference. She loves to knit, as I mentioned, a little stamp there, knit one, purl two. She did try at one point to teach me how to knit a particular pattern and I wasn't a very good student, unfortunately. And some, just some little secret tuck spots, little places to stick some things. Um, these, all these little feathers, fussy cut feathers, I thought were cute. She loves rabbits too. Just a little tag with a dried flower from my garden. It's a verbascum. Southern Charm Blossom. A little piece about tropical butterflies. done a lot of bookkeeping for not just in her current job, but um, for her husband, for his uh, small engine repair business, and I'm sure other things that I'm neglecting to mention.
kind of vintage cat photo. That one just kills me. That's so cute. Here. Some cat mint. And a little hidden journaling spot. This is more of a keepsake journal than a writing journal. Um, but I'm sure if she wanted to, she could find lots of places to, to write. She has had greenhouses at some of the houses that she's owned in the past, but now she has a condo with a balcony, so I thought some container plant pages would be cute. Piece of wallpaper. Her and her husband own a lot of houses. Um, some that they rented and some that they flipped, and so I got this little rent book. Um, it was rather fitting. Again, cat mint. Little bird accent there. The wallpaper, pussy kick. Coloring page for maybe her and her granddaughter, or she could give that to her granddaughter. She is an artist as well. She paints and draws um, pet portraits for people. She's just, like I said, she's fascinating. Fascinating lady. It's my wallpaper. <laughs> um, at one point, Mary taught aerobics, and one time when she was going into the office to teach the aerobics class, she was kind of attacked by a Canada goose. <laughs> so I thought that was a cute little inclusion. It's a little butterfly there. And like I said, she sews. So I thought this little piece of uh, sewing pattern would work. Some more stamping. She, um, this is supposed to be a hydrangea. It's kind of probably hard to tell, but we had hydrangeas at the um, office that I worked at, and she liked to bring, go cut some of the blooms and bring them into the office and put them for everyone to enjoy. There's more of the um, fussy cut wallpaper foxgloves. They're so pretty a piece of wallpaper background as well. Another vintage cat photo. And just some other ephemera. A wallpaper piece. This um, is a hidden paper clip. And it's actually, this cat is fussy cut from a piece of fabric uh, that Mary gave me when I told her I was doing junk journals. She gave me a bunch of fabric scraps that she had. And this was um, a bunch of these little cats on, on one of them. And it was so fun to make the this little tag. Big cat mint. And another vintage cat photo. Again, so cute. Oh, 
postcard. Youth holding card. Side pocket. Oops. Side pocket here. Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> and I accidentally punched it. Oh, well. It's another fussy cut cat from another piece of fabric that Mary had given me. And I put this cute little bow tie on him. It's a Siamese cat, which Mary happened to breed Siamese cats at one point, so I thought that was rather fitting as well. Um, Mary has a squirrel, a, probably a frisky squirrel, um, that likes to uh, frequent her balcony and torment her cats. Another little squirrel. Adorable little squirrel. Page from the book. A lot of these book pages I've gotten from bundles, so I don't remember exactly who or where they came from. I'll pull it out. With a pocket here. Some varying items and tickets and stamps. More kitty photos, because we can't have too many kitties. Siamese. Another Siamese. Another button. Pretty applique. This opens up. A bunch of land birds. List of land birds. Come on now, work with me. Bag. He loves to read, of course. suppose that is. And then this is a kitty from the front with another well, casual crown, I suppose. She also loves to paint, which I mentioned. Another little page. I'm sorry, another little pocket here with a one final vintage photo. And a little paper wanted to mark a spot in the book. A little book. Tag. I'm sorry, mark, bookmark. And then the back is just some more of that flower and backing um, on the front. A little, little tag. And 
down at the bottom here, a Mary Engelbrecht brooch. So there you have it. A little something about Mary, or maybe a lot of something about Mary. A fascinating woman that I'm very privileged to know. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.